Hi YouTube, welcome to IGCSD Computer Science Data Types. Today we are going to explore the different data types that is available and then how do you actually use them and so on. So first is actually integer. So for those of you who, who love math, you know that integer they are? Yes, they are whole numbers. So the example of whole numbers which is 3, 17, it can be negative, it can be positive, but it cannot have it cannot have decimal points. So integer is whole numbers, you cannot have decimal points. And then real, single or double, these are actually different names uh, used in different languages. So, but all, what, what they all mean is actually decimal numbers, which you will have 2.1, 32.0, 49.27, negative and so on, positive, it, it's fine. So you will have decimal numbers and these are, this is real and single, uh, real, single and double. And then you have Boolean. So Boolean, for those, uh, Boolean is actually true or false. It means just yes or no, yes or no. So you might ask, why do we need to have different, different variable types? Why can't we just use decimal numbers for everything? I mean, it covers the whole thing. The thing is this, when computer first got invented, memory is very expensive. So if you notice, if you need to store more information, you will need to use more memory. So integer actually use less memory than real, single and double. So that is why, I mean, and nowadays you have a lot of memory, but if you are writing programs, it is actually good for you to be, to use only what you need so that your program will not be too heavy. And sometimes it, this, this particular characteristic of different data types will help you solve different problems in programming also. So without further ado, we still have two more data types for you to take a look at. One is actually string. String is actually text, which is a combination of any number of characters, numbers, and symbols. So no, most of the time you actually have double quotation mark or single quotation mark. Depends on the language. Some language would let you interchange both of these. You can use quote, double quotation mark, single quotation mark, they don't care. Some of them, double quotation mark will mean string, single quotation mark will mean character, which is the next data type. Character is actually one character, that means one alphabet or, or, or symbol or, or, or number. So just only one of it. So if you notice, right, a string is a combination of characters that means you actually have multiple characters if you want to. And then character is only one of it. So this is the difference between both of them. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at data types in terms of programming example. Okay. So let's just say, now for example, if I were to get some input, I, let's just say I want, I want to get, uh, let's say I want to get a number, okay? I can get a number and I say input give please provide me a number. So I can I can I can write it like this. Then you can see here it says it provides me a number. Let's just say if I want to have 23. Okay? So nothing happens because I did not do anything after that. So what if I actually say print number? Okay, so let's say if I put 23, and I put enter. So the output here is 23. So what if I say that, hmm, maybe I want to actually have total, and then I say number plus one, okay? And then if I press run, if I put 23, then you see, hmm, why does it say wrong? You can see here there's actually an error, you can see there's an error message here. It says that type error can only concatenate string not integer. Mm. So, but I want to add them. So there are two ways to solve this. One way is to actually change this, this number, because input here, right, it will return a string, okay? So this number here is actually not an, not an integer, not uh, a real, it is a string. So what I can do is I can convert this string to a number. Ooh, actually made a coding mistake. This one should be double, it should be total, my bad. So if I were to actually change this, this is one of the way, it will actually add the number that I have inputted with one and then it will print the result. Let's take a look. So if I were to put 23, now you can see it comes out as 24. This is simple because I changed the input to a number. But to make this interesting, I can also do this in a different way. If I were to change the number behind to a string, uh, to a character, to a string, then when I type in 23, when I press enter, it will become 231. Because plus here, it means that I'm going to take 
23 the string and the one and then put them together I will not add them in terms of math but I will add them together just like I have a b c and I put them side by side so this is why it is important for you to actually understand the different different data types and if this is a variable originally it is a string if I were to actually put integer in front it means that I'm actually casting the term here is casting I'm casting this from a string into an integer so what if what if I were to actually put this as like 3.2 and then I add them together what will happen so let's say if I put 23 when I add them together it will become 26.2 so no problem at all but for certain languages you might have a problem of they might not actually take that in correctly so what do I mean by that let me just give you a very quick example if I were to input 23.3 and I put enter a eh, something is off because here it can only take uh, a literal that means that means actually like 20 40 and so on it cannot take 23.3 but if I were to change this to to double eh, sorry double float my bad if I were to change it to float then you can see 23.3 it will work so it really depends on what what things that you have and how do you convert one to the other so float is actually the the term for real single or double in Python okay so this is basically it. how do you actually to, to recap we actually go through different data types oh yeah I forgot one more thing I did not show you boolean so if I were to say boolean equals to true here if I were to print boolean I can just input anything it's not related to whatever that is up here it will print true so this is true or false and then as for character if I were to print one character if I were to just say so if I were to just say C then it prints out C because this is just just a, a single character so today we actually went through different data types we have went through string integer real single or double boolean and then character and we also went through type casting how do you actually cast from one type to the other and why it is actually very important for you to understand types because if not sometimes you will see some errors that you don't really understand so basically that's it so if you have any questions feel free to put it in the comments and then if you like this video please share please press like and share with your friends and then if you would like to see more of this content please subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys next time. Bye.